Why you have to have character to build trust. Um, you know, it, it does get down to shared values. It gets down to shared perspective. Um, and, and character is not necessarily, it's something that can grow. It absolutely does grow. It can be developed. Um, and so, you know, to be trustworthy, you have to have great character. From a competence perspective, I have to trust that you can perform the task or maybe understand the task you can't perform because that's just as important, what you're, what you're capable of doing or not capable of doing, to know how much latitude, to know how much mission command, because mission command is not unbounded freedom. It is, it is bounded uh, by that shared understanding between the leader and the led. Uh, and the trust, getting back to character, that you've, you've got to have character to not get outside the bounds of what you're capable of doing. I have to be able to trust that you're not going to try to bite off more than you can chew. Um, and then from a, from a commitment perspective, you know, that, that gets to, are you fully committed to the mission? Are you committed to the ideals? And are you committed to uh, a way of thinking and operating uh, as a part of something larger than yourself? Uh, or are you in it for yourself? Because you're going to behave very differently if you're thinking about yourself versus thinking about this larger um, army, this profession that we're in. So I, I, I think that's how all three of those relate.